Well, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've been a complete idiot and possibly something disastrous has happened. No, it's not drama. It really did. Um, so I thought I'd shoot a really quick video and uh, show you what happened and I'm going to try and work through and solve the problem and take you with me. So I'm just shooting on the phone. Apologies if it's not the most professional thing, because of course you come to expect really professional on my channel by now, haven't you? Anyway, uh, let me turn this camera around and I can show you what happened and talk you through what I'm going to try and do about it. So here's the story. Yesterday I came in and I found the tap like this. It was just slightly popped off. I thought that was a bit weird, but I didn't think anything of it. It was just slightly popped off a bit. And I put the heating on because uh, we've been fitting a new um, extra USB point here and a, um, a voltage thing. Might as well have had the space. So I've got an extra little USB in there. Um, so as it began to warm up, I could hear a bit of a dripping noise. And yep, you guessed it, I pulled the top off here. And there was a massive, massive icicle sticking up here. I'll put a photo in here to show it just uh, after it popped into the sink. Because I'm not such a professional YouTuber that I think to turn the camera on and record my horror at the time. I can't cope with being in a panic and filming at the same time. Anyway, massive icicle sticking out of there. And you know, I thought, what the hell's happened? Because I drained the caravan down, or I thought I had, when I got back from the last trip in October. And then we've had this really cold snap this week, so I knew it was coming. So I opened the taps to double check. I can't leave the taps open all the time in this caravan and the 12 volts on um, because that there's micro switches in these taps and I can't isolate the pump. So I'm going to have to, I think, put an extra switch in line in the pump at some point in the future to be able to override that. But anyway, um, I thought I drained it all down, but apparently not because horror of horrors. Let me turn this camera around again. When I um, look down under the sink, here are all the water pipes that come into the, the tap there. These, you could press them and feel the ice inside. And it looks like what I forgot to do is drain down the very lowest drain point. I just missed one of them. And so despite the fact that a load of water ran out of the caravan and despite the fact that nothing was coming out of the taps, there was a load of water in here still. So all these pipes were frozen all the way up there through the tap and that icicle coming out through the top all the way down here all the way down there presumably behind the fridge there um, and that pipe comes through here through there through there through there into underneath there somewhere along the floor here which you can't see because it's under this assembly and out here and into the tank so all the pipes on that um well actually it's the south side of the caravan as the land lays, land lies, um, they were all frozen. Luckily, this stuff is really flexible. You see that squidging down? It's not that sort of hard John Guest stuff. It's really squeezy, which I think has saved us because we've been warming the caravan up slowly for 24 hours and I haven't sprung a leak anywhere, which is a godsend. The pipes that go through underneath, I don't know if you can see them, down in that corner. There's another load that go through there into the washroom. Can you see them? I don't know if there's a room to get the camera in. Yeah, there's a set of pipes there that go into the washroom. They uh, were not frozen up at the washroom tap. The washroom tap was fine. They were just slightly frozen just as it goes inside there. Um, the toilet's just behind here. And as they went past there, they were slightly frozen, but only for about, I don't know, 30 centimetres or so. Weirdly, that's the north side of the caravan. And I'll put some extra f photos in here because it froze on that side a lot less than it froze on, on that side, on the north side. Uh, no, hang on, that's north, that's south. Um, so the south was much more frozen than the north because there's a hedge right there and a, f a small fence, a hedge and then a big fence and the caravan is parked about I don't know, 75 centimetres inside. So that's quite sheltered. So only the top bit froze, the bottom bit was unfrozen. I'll put the photos in, as I said. But this side, um, as you can see, the van is there and my ladder. Um, so that side of the van and this side of the caravan was absolutely frozen solid. But the side of the van is next to the house. There's the house. So that side of the van is what, metre, metre and a half away from the house? 
That was completely unfrozen. So yeah, I was nerding out on the science, of course, <laughs> because the microclimate across the drive was just fascinating until I discovered, discovered a massive icicle growing out of my tap. Then I went into panic mode and forgot about the science. Um, anyway, so everything is defrosted now and I seem to have not sprung any leaks, which is a godsend, but um, the pump doesn't seem to be running. Let me show you that. Right, so obviously this is a micro switch tap. So as soon as I pick this up, we should get a whirr. And the pumps ring into action. Hot or cold? No, not a thing. Um, the tap seems okay. I think it survived. This O-ring, I have been wondering for a while whether it needed replacing because I was getting a little, a few sort of leaky bits when I washed up sometimes. Um, it seems all right, but I think the fact that it was slightly loose may have saved me from destruction. Um, so this tap it's just a simple sort of tube with a it's a bit lime scale isn't it could look a good clean but i think because nothing came out of the end there so the whole icicle formed inside here it must have frozen really quickly and then just popped that off pop that up there um i've got humidity and temperature sensors in here so i'll stick a graph up and it got down to nearly minus five inside the caravan here um night before last and last night so yeah. No, not last night, because I was defrosting for 24 hours, the night before last. So that was disaster. Anyway, um, the pump is not running. Hopefully, it looks okay. Can you see it in there? It's just a simple sort of white pump. As you can see, this tank is completely dry, apart from that spot. There's a bit of condensation in here. But there's nothing else. I mean, the pump looks alright. It doesn't look like it's exploded or anything. So... The only th other thing to check, weaving around the cushions and the tools, is the fuse. Now, I think the fuse, if I remember correctly, is this brown one on the top, this number five. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, maybe that's it. And that looks like there's a bit of a burn mark in the middle, doesn't it? So maybe the pump was frozen inside and yesterday while I was fiddling around with the taps I clicked it to on and it tried to run and drew too much current. Hmm. Right, maybe the fuse has saved me as well as the flexible pipes. Right, let's get um, a spare fuse and we'll try that. Also, I better click the 12 volts off, haven't I? I put the spare fuse in, so let's turn the heating off for a minute. Turn the 12 volts off. Oh, we've just moved that as well, which is very helpful indeed. Okay, let me put you guys down while I get the fuse box out. Spare fuses. Right, sorry for leaving you guys set on the battery. Instantly, look, all this rubber it's on the back of this battery strap is coming off, leaving all these bits. It's horrible. Anyway, right, I've got a fuse. Um, seems to be a five. It's the same size, but what's perturbing me is the blades look different. So if you know about fused blade shapes, tell me why that's the case, please. Pop something in the comments below, because I'd like to know. Other than that, they seem exactly the same size, so I think that's the right thing. Right, anyway, let's pop this in. Oh, it's a bit fiddly with this wiring loom in the way. Right, I don't want to force it. Oh yeah, let's right, push that in nicely. Okay, let's turn the 12 volts back on and give this pump a go. Right, moment of truth. Yes! Obviously, it's not running anything. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, success.
There's the bump. All right, now I'll slot that back on. I guess the question is, will it just go back on? Can I just wind it on? Hang on, I might need two hands. Oh, there we go. That's slotted. Did I catch that or have I just stuck my arm in front of you? Right, tap on. I suppose I should get some water. Seal up all the things and try it through, shouldn't I? Right, uh, back in a second. Right, I've got some water. Let's get this in the tank. If I can carry a phone and tip water at the same time. Okay, that's in there. Just a bit in the bottom, let me see. Yeah, just a couple of centimetres. Right, let's get this through the tap and hope we don't spring a leak anywhere. Uh, cold only because the hot's still open. Okay. It's going okay. Right, let's run dry at that end. Stop that before I burn the pump out. Right, no water leaks there, none around there. Nothing down in that corner. Right, and nothing coming into the tank here. Okay, I think I might have got away with that one. So moral of the story, don't be an idiot. Remember to drain down the cold system because I think that was the lowest drain point that I missed last time. Maybe I'll have a checklist, perhaps I'm getting old. Um, anyway, <laughs> remember to open all your drain valves and then you won't have a problem. I am feeling very relieved indeed. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you're not already and press the thumbs up button and all that good stuff because that helps support the channel and... I'll be less of an idiot next time. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, bye, everyone. See ya.